So we're uh, recording this because there's a few folks that are going through the program who are not able to be here. So okay. we want to be sure that we're able to relay this information to them. So uh, just to let you all know, we are recording, okay? Yes. Hey, right. wait a minute. I might have figured it out. Just there. <laughs> That's awesome. You're winning already, Chad. You're winning hey, already. Thanks. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Renee, Hi, Allison. Before Woo! we start. <laughs> Hi, Allison. Th this Hi. is the squad that helped our us do our help my mom and George. So the awesome friend that's who he is so hey, hi thank you i'm so happy you're here i yes. can be here for like two minutes but i had to jump on because i promised i make, would so here yes. i am we are recording <laughs> we know I'm, there are other people that can't make it this evening so we're recording and we're going to make it short and sweet so okay, uh, cool. thank you for being here yeah all right well let's get this party started and if more people hop in then we'll welcome them when they come along but we really just wanted to do an intro and welcome you all for be and thank you for being part of this movement so first and foremost we wanted to get to know a little bit about each of you because it's not a movement with just two people and this is not about renee and i this is really a way to help as many humans as possible Okay, folks, so if you have, all right, so Chad, do you know how to access the chat? Uh, not really. Okay, so <laughs> shout it's it out. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, if you would like to answer out loud, that is totally fine, and, 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 and that goes for all of you. We just didn't want to put anyone on the spot if they didn't want to answer out loud, so you yes. can either type it in the chat or just let us know, okay? Yes, I'm a better talker. Oh, I love that, okay. All right, so we just want to know where you're all from. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Where do we start? Where are you from? You, where are you tuning in from? I am tuning in from Purity, Ohio. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Allison, what about you? Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. Yeah, go Phils. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, go. Oh, you're on. Hello. There we go. Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm tuning in from Dexter, Michigan. Awesome. So we have right. Ohio, Philly, and Michigan in the house. And awesome. Wow. DJ Kelly Bill, but I would like you to introduce yourself by your real name. Yeah, my name is. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. Where are you tuning in from? I'm tuning in from Lagos, Nigeria. What? Awesome. We are so happy to have you here. Our intention is a global movement, so this is part of it. Thank you for being here. And, and Russell. We have Russell. Russell, introduce yourself, please. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Russell Lemon. Tuning in from the Philippines. Woo, woo. Very nice. That's so oh, awesome. That's Kristen Ford's here. Kristen. Yay, Kristen. <laughs> Where are you tuning in from, Kristen? Hi, I'm in my office in outside Philadelphia. That's awesome. right. Go, Phil. Go, Phil. <laughs> so happy you all are here. Thank you for playing along with us. Okay. And actually, so that was the first question. Second question. And you can type in the chat or share with us. It's up to you. So let's let's go around again. Chad, what is a strength yes. of yours or a compliment that you receive often? Uh, great question. Um, I guess I don't really pay attention. Um, I, I think a strength that I can be proud of is I try to give back to others. So um, I get a lot of gratitude from that. Love it. Most giving person. Yeah, I know. Thank you. You're Allison. Welcome. Jeez, I don't know. Um, I'm going to probably just say that, um, that I am somebody, if you drop me somewhere that I can just 
meet people and meet them where they are and just be with people. Like I'm just a friendly That's people great. person. Yes. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That gave me love goosebumps. It. Yes, love it, love it. Patty. How about Kristen? Yeah, let's do Kristen. Great question. Um, I get, wow, you do so much. You're so organized. Is that a compliment? Ooh, Not yes. to me, but oh, yes. I think it is. <laughs> For sure. Oh, Patty's un unfrozen. Patty, what's a compliment you receive? So I receive a lot of times. I am a great listener. I'm a loyal friend. And um, conduit. I'm a, I'm a conduit. I'm a connector. That's another thing that I hear. Oh, I love That's that. That's a great one. We and we have the most amazing humans here. Um, DJ Kelly, what about you? Yeah, uh, I always receive that uh, I'm a good person. Good person, love That's that. Awesome, and Russell. Yeah. Um... I, they, they said that I am a very optimistic person. So in, in, in every instance or situation, I can see light in every in everything. Love oh, it. That's awesome. We are so blessed to be with all of you. Okay, last one. And then we're going to boogie with this, I promise. But in what areas would you most like to grow? So something that maybe you you're an area in which you're like, I'd really like to improve upon. Or maybe something you admire in someone else that you would like to embody. Yes. Chad, go ahead. Well, I would like to be improve on being able to believe in myself more than uh, I currently do. Um, you know, I, I guess that um, it's easy to help others. It's not so easy to help myself when I need it. Um, and I think that the way that, uh, uh, and it holds me back from a lot of things, um, you know, fear, fear holds me back from a lot of things. So I would like to improve on getting rid of uh, personal fear. And I guess this is where it starts. Well, you're in luck. You, Mr. Scott, Scott, I'm so excited. Thank is you, on thank fear. You. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. And what's really cool about this, what we're going to share is it. there's actually science behind it that a lot of us were never taught. And so fear is something that we all have, every single one of us, and we we all have an opportunity to see it for what it is, understand it, and go over the fear, the fear barrier. So thank you for sharing that. We were actually wondering if anyone would um, would share that. So thank you. What about you, Allison? Funny, I would have said the same thing um, because, you know, while I may be somebody who loves to be with people <laughs> and all of that, I do have my own things that hold me back. And a lot of that is fear as well. So it's definitely, definitely something that I want to grow in that area for sure. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Patty. So the area that I'm I'm working on and improving is more um, in the health category, just physical, keeping uh, consistent uh, physical activity to improve my health. And as as I as I age, um, and to increase my vitality. Um, so really, the area that I want to grow is is to be a little bit more consistent and persistent in my activities physically for my health. That's one, one area of it. Awesome. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, DJ Kelly. Yeah. Um, I would like to improve and be myself, you know, and improving, uh, in my dreams and goals, being focus, grateful, and accountability in my studies. That's awesome. 
That is a really good point you're making right there. And everybody, just so you know, DJ Kelly Bill, his real name is Paul. Paul, so okay. I anybody couldn't... would like to say hello to him. Okay, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, <Paul. laughs> thank you very thank you. much. Okay, I love knowing that. What about you, Russell? Um, yeah, for, for me, it's, uh, I guess, um, I would like to improve my uh, body, um, loving myself and taking care of myself. So that's really it for me. Awesome. Thank that's you. That's a great goal. So yes. And Kristen, what about you? I'd like to select all of the above. Um, <laughs> my, initial, <laughs> my initial thought was just consistency and timeliness. I find that I get stuck on the fear of perfectionism. It'll never be perfect. Therefore, it's never done. So I just want to be able to let go of the fear, get it off my desk, and be consistent about doing it. That's yeah. right. Persistence is key, really. And, yes. and really developing your, your will and your focus. And, and we go into that with our program. So we're so excited because we address every single thing you just talked about, all of you. Everything. So you are in the right place. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Angie. All right. So, well, and I do want to say before we move on, but that's the whole point of this program. Uh, both Renee and I were educators for a long time, and we realized that we were teaching and learning, uh, reading, writing, arithmetic, all the things. And yet, as we were growing in our own personal journey and our own self-development journey, and we've both gone through heartaches and struggles and all the things, we were like, wait a minute, these are the things that every single person is going to have to get to be with ourselves our whole lives. We're all going to go through grief. We're all going to go through heartache. We're all going to go through struggle. Everybody has a story. Um, and there were all these skills that we were learning that we realized that we didn't have as educators or as parents, Renee's a parent, we're both educators, but there were all these things that we realized we didn't understand ourselves. How on earth could we teach children this? And so we became extremely passionate about making sure that this was a common practice as much as teaching reading um, to be able to teach self-acceptance, self-love, overcoming fears. Because again, how many of us were taught that you know, we're all going to have fears or that we are in our thoughts. Like we just weren't taught these things. And so this program is actually going to address 100% of the things that every single one of you said. Um, and more importantly, we want to shed light on the fact that this is part of being a human. And so we really want to create a space, a container for belonging, a container that feels safe and a container that helps us all learn that we can embody self-belief and you know that cute saying from um henry ford whether you think you can or think you can't you're right and so one of the things that we really teach in this program is that our subconscious looks for evidence looks for proof of our beliefs and What's really cool is that beliefs are just thoughts we keep thinking and they can be changed. So that's really the big part of this program is really the common thread is belonging and belief, belonging and belief. So we're really excited to share with you um, the CAPE movement. Can you move it on? Okay, so in terms of belonging, um, you know, we have our CAPE, our CAPE core values. But really, in an essence, it's every person has a voice. Every person gets to feel seen, heard, and valued. Every person gets to be treated with respect and kindness. And every person can feel free from judgment in this space. And the reason this is so important is this is not like a cute poster that we're putting on our classroom wall. But, you know, just like Allison was saying, like fear of judgment, or like Kristen was saying, fear of perfectionism, or like Chad was saying, like fear holds me back. We all, we all have that, but there's less of it when you're in a container where you know that you matter. So mm -hmm. belonging is what you will find here and safety is what you will find here. Okay. And then the next one is just belief, believing in the unseen. And, you know, we don't consider ourselves necessarily a spiritual, um, we don't push any, any spirituality, but we will say that um, we do 
have a common foundation of faith and whatever that looks like to you, but believing in the unseen, believing in a greater power, believing that there's something bigger than us. And we aren't just meat suits running around here, but we actually have a common thread. <laughs> and so, um, I've never just, heard that one. <laughs> it just came out. <laughs> um, but you know, like it, there's something bigger than us in operation and realizing that we are an interwoven fabric. So we're going to create and show you how to create, even if you feel like you're standing a little bit on, um, you know, not the foundation that you'd like to help you have a firm understanding of what is possible for you in this life, what's possible for your family, that even if you feel like you've allowed fear to hold you in a headlock for the last however many years, we can take that headlock off. Mm -hmm. All right. And then lastly is to really help you feel like you have a four-legged chair. And uh, this comes from my mom had gone to a funeral and she met this gentleman that was just so centered and grounded and balanced all the time. And she's like, how, how are you like this? You've gone through such heartache and struggle. You've lost all these people you love and you always seem so solid. And he said, you know, I realized that my life is like a four-legged chair and I get to choose to keep each of those four legs as solid as possible. So emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. And that's something that I can own. And he's like, and I also get to be aware of when one of my legs is getting a little wobbly. He's like, if I don't sharpen all my legs, I'm going to fall on my, you know what? So I, I intentionally every day make sure that my, my chair is firm. So that's what this program will be offered to you is to make sure that all those legs of your chair are as solid as possible as we go through this life's journey. Awesome. Okay, so let's look at this photo. This is my daughter, Mila. And what this photo, it, it always speaks to me when I see it because it makes so much sense when you relate it to how we're addressing any kind of mental health, you know, um, struggles or life struggles. So just like band-aids on broken concrete provide a quick fix, it is apparent that a quick that quick fix solutions to address mental health are temporary and do not address the root cause. So more effective and permanent solutions come from understanding the mind, enhancing your self-image and setting worthy goals. And that is what we're here to do together. And we are doing it together. We're all going through this together. Angie and I, you know, created this program, but we are going through this with you at the same time. So this is a community you could always depend on to, you know, to voice your opinions, to voice, um, you know, what you're going through. It's a no judgment zone. And we're so excited to share what's in store for you. So Angie, do you want to mention what is in store? Sure. So exactly like Renee said, you know, a lot of times, even as educators, we'd want to put a bandaid on the problems like this child's acting up, take away the recess, all of these things that we were always trying to we would see in the school system, fix the effect, fix the effect, right? And so um, as we were going through this program, especially and learning about the power of the subconscious mind and how our fears get programmed in and, you know, all of these things, how the mind works, instead of just think positive thoughts, it's like, well, who wants to think positive thoughts when you're in the process of grieving? That's it's not, it doesn't equate, right? But what this program really does is it's going to give you an understanding of how the mind works, how the conscious and the subconscious mind work. It's going to help you develop positive psychology. So see when and how to apply positive psychology, right? So that your brains don't just run or your mind doesn't run away with thoughts without you, but also to encapsulate that with emotional intelligence. This is understanding what our feelings are, why we have these feelings. Um, the, and then also healing and evolution of growth and transformation, realizing that just like Kristen said about the perfectionism and things, there's no there. Like it is about making Sorry. as many <laughs> moments of this life as awesome as possible, being able to sail through the emotions that come because hard stuff is going to happen and knowing that we have the capacity and the power of the human spirit can get through anything 
anything. So this is when Renee says that it's a solution, not a fix. We're not going to try to fix or sugarcoat. It's really going to come from a deep level of understanding. So the ripple effect. As you know, and I'm looking at Chad here, but you know, and, and Kristen and Pat, all of you, you know, the power of one person, the power of one person overcoming their obstacles and and handing their hand back and helping someone else. The power of one person healing their own personal traumas. The power of one person up-leveling themselves and, and breaking free of the bonds of, of fear. That trajectory hits every single person, every single person that they know. So that's really what we're doing. We didn't call this the CAPE one time, take it class. <laughs> we called it a CAPE movement because we really believe in the power of what this can do as we all heal and grow together. So this is our ripple and it starts here, which is, it's so exciting. It starts here by, by ripple, you know, by that one person taking action in developing yourself, it ripples to your family, your friends, your coworkers, your, um, I mean, your dog. I mean, it goes <laughs> everywhere. So, you know, this is the beginning of a beautiful journey that we're doing with you. And we are, so, I mean, you've made the, probably the most important decision of your life by taking us up on this offer, because we really know what it, the content does, and it is going to be life-changing for you all. So we are super proud of you for thinking about it and saying, you know what, that sounds like a great idea because it is, it might be the best I, uh, like decision you ever made in your life. So what can you expect? And this is in the email that I sent you all. And I know Kristen, I owe you, I think an email. Um, basically our program is 13 lessons. So I believe you've all received a link for Kajabi, but you know, if you did not, okay, Kristen did not. Okay. Um, Russell, can you please send Kristen, I, I gave you her email a couple of days ago, um, send her a link for Kajabi. Yeah, um, okay. I'm on it now. Great. So what, what our program entails is listening to the lessons a minimum of twice daily. Now these lessons are not long. These are about four, maybe five minutes, not even. Um, so it's really something you can do when you're brushing your teeth put the ear pods in, you know, you're running around getting organized to leave the house, or when you wake up, you put the ear pods in and listen. Um, and the reason why is because we are really going to condition your subconscious mind. It is something that Angie and I, and even Patty have been through a program that does that. And how we learn the, the, the pinnacle of learning is repetition, spaced repetition. So what that does, it's how we learned our language. It's how we learned our ABCs. It's how we learned, you know, anything that you don't do automatically was, is in your brain and in your subconscious mind because it was done through repetition. So um, what we would love is if the lesson one, so we're going to start lesson one, hopefully tonight you'll be able to listen to the intro in lesson one. And preferably in the morning and the evening. I put it on in my car. I mean, it really is not meant to, you know, be something that you feel like you have to do. It's something that you're going to want to do. Um, and then there's just one or two, maybe, right, Angie, activities that follow up just to reinforce the lesson of what you learned and apply it. So, um, you know, those worksheets are for you. They are, you know, we're not going to be checking that you got them done, but you you should do them because it will reinforce what you're learning. Um, and also engaging. So you're all you've all been invited to the superpower community Facebook group. I don't know if you're all in it yet, but um, you've all been invited. So please take a look in your Facebook and make sure that you accept because that is our little beautiful egg space where we can all chat with each other and you know. Tell, tell what's going on in your life or say something you got from a lesson that you're, that you're on. Okay. Um, it's really just a, a beautiful space for all of us to connect. Um, so then what Angie and I, um, uh, would love is 
we are going to send you a feedback form after every lesson. So probably like the Wednesday or even the Thursday morning, you'll get an email with the, um, asking you for feedback. Now, why do we need feedback? Well, just like anything, we want to be sure that we are serving at the highest level possible, that there's no confusion, that there's no, um, you know, we want clarity for all of you. We don't want you to just listen to the program and say, I didn't really get that, but I'm not going to say anything. That is not our goal. Our goal is for this to be a friendly program for all of you. And if there's, um, you know, things in there that you feel like we can improve upon, you know, we're always improving and we love the feedback. Um, and then this call every Thursday, the Cape Connect call is another place for us to have discussions to um, talk about wins for the week or, um, you know, and really, the goal is to talk about each lesson. And I gave you a breakdown of when those meetings will be because we are taking this program through the holidays. So there's going to be a couple of Thursdays that we are not going to meet for that, but we will talk about the two lessons the next time, if that makes sense. Um, we, we can't require you to be there, but we think it would be, it would be, be beneficial for you to come at six o'clock every Thursday. If you can't make it for one reason. I mean, we're all, we all have lives going on and Thursday nights, something might come up. We will record these and they will be put in the Facebook group. So you will be a part of the discussion passively after, after the meeting, if you can't make it. So for clarity's sake, this time next week, 6 PM, we will be discussing lesson one. Does that make sense to everybody? Awesome. Awesome. And it, does anybody have any questions about that or need any clarity? Does it sound good? Good, good. Sounds okay. wonderful. Okay. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Chad. All right. And to sum it up, really, this is for you. This is for your family. This is not for Angie and I. We are, we want you to see the value in this. So, but the only thing is, as, as with everything else in life, you only get out what you put in. So if you follow the steps that we've asked you to do and you participate, your life is going to change. You are going to see little and big differences in your world that will benefit you and your family for the rest of your life. And we can speak to it. Pat can speak to it because we've all been through a mindset program and what inspired us to create this program is to have families be able to do it together. Um, so if any of you have children and would like to do this with them, we have the child portion and it's all aligned. So you're able to do the program with your child and it's the same process. So they can be on the call on Thursdays. If they, if you want them to be um, discussing the lesson, they all have their own little activity that mirrors in a way, the adult activity. So, um, you know, please let us know. I know Allison, who she had to go, she went to the, she's at the Phillies game. Um, her son, Luke is going to be going through this process with us. And that excites us because when Angie and I began this, our brains were on children. How do we get this information to children? because it's not taught in our formal education and it's basic foundational skills that really um, are in essence, everything about you, learning about yourself, learning about how to set goals, learning about fear and the difference between fear that keeps you safe physically and the fear that keeps you away from your goals because you're in your little bucket comfort zone. So, you know, we explain it in such a way, it's so friendly that um, one of our success advisors, Lisa, who's not here right now, her son um, is on the autism spectrum and he's going through the program that, right now and loves it. So that to us is, is winning because we have, our goal was to make this program for everybody, for whatever learning range you're in, whatever age you are, um, and just tailoring it to that, you know, those children. Um, we have people who have gone through our program and have gone through the lessons and try and modified them for children with special needs. Um, so it is really accessible to anyone. Right now, our target age group would be like elementary school, um, but we do believe that our program can be um, used by older children if they do the adult program, it's that friendly. 
So, um, and we also, speaking of that, we also have an educator program. So we tailored those lessons towards educators. So we really have it for everybody. Um, so we're very thrilled that you're here and thank you for coming tonight. It is our honor to be working with you. Um, this is our dream. Um, really coming to fruition, this is it. This is where it begins. So thank you. Thank you so much. We will always leave you off by 630, but feel free to stay on if you have any questions. Renee and I will always answer any questions and give you one-on-one -on -one support if you need anything. We'll stop recording now, but we...